Hey, g'day there. Today, let's have a chat at fixed rooftop solar that's permanently mounted to the roof or portable solar panels that you can put out in the sun. I get asked a lot of questions, what's the best? Let's check both out, you ripper. Okay, first off, let's take a look at fixed solar panel pros. Now, the best thing is that they're always there. They're always on and there's no setting up. That is so cool and it saves time. And time, well, we don't have a lot of these days. And as long as the sun is above the panels, then they're charging our batteries and that's all we need. Also, they don't take up any space inside the vehicle and they're really hard to steal when they're bolted down. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the cons of rooftop solar. So first off, in some cases, you may have to drill holes in your roof or do modifications to the vehicle. And also the initial setup can be quite expensive, especially if you've got to pay someone to do it and all the cables and everything as well. So just keep that in mind. Also, they are harder to clean and maintain. If they're on top of your caravan roof or on top of your vehicle, when was the last time you checked your solar panels? A dirty solar panel can sometimes reduce output by up to 25%, so keep that in mind as well. Now, the biggest issue with rooftop solar is them being mounted flat on the roof, and sometimes that can reduce the output by up to 50%, depending on where the sunshine is. So imagine if we're over here, it's not going to be that great. But if the sun's right above us, then happy days. We're producing the most amount of current. So that's one of the downfalls of rooftop solar. Another thing with rooftop solar is sometimes having to park in full sun in really hot summer conditions can be a real pain in the bum. And on the other side of the fence, also shade. So if you're parking in shady conditions... Um, you might even have a air conditioner or maybe even roof racks or a TV antenna. Depending on where the sun is, these things can also cast shade on your solar panels. And some really cheap and nasty solar panels will cut out altogether. So keep this in mind with your rooftop solar. And another thing to consider is all that extra weight on the roof of your vehicle. And sometimes that top weight can affect the way the vehicle handles. Also, wind resistance can affect fuel economy as well. So keep all these things in mind when you're using your rooftop solar. Okay, next up, let's have a look at portable solar panels. Now, these things are absolutely excellent. And as the name says, they're totally portable. So being portable, usually they are very light, they have handles, they have legs, and you can take them just about anywhere. With portable solar panels, there's no installation costs or no modifications needed to your vehicle whatsoever. How cool is that? And also the ability to be able to park in the shade so you keep nice and cool. Fair enough, you might need to run some extension leads out. You can get a little bit of voltage drop, but hey, at least you're nice and cool, and I think the benefits outweigh the disadvantages. They are by far easier to clean and maintain. There's no getting up on ladders or climbing on roofs to clean your solar panels, and it's clearly visible when they get dirty. Next up is location and flexibility. You can take them just about anywhere. You can angle them towards the sun. Most of them do have legs. Being roughly 30 degrees is so much more efficient than being flat on a roof. And the ability to be able to move them around during the day from sun up to sun down, and there's no external drag on the vehicle whatsoever. How cool is that? Okay, so some of the cons of portable solar panels. Well, one, you have to store in vehicle, that way taking up vehicle space, which can be a mission sometimes. Also, the fact that you have to carry them around, always having to set them up. You've got to plug them in using extension cables. You've got to pack them away, and this all takes time too. So that's one big downfall of portable solar panels. Another downfall with portable panels is the fact that you have to move them around during the day to get the maximum sunshine. So if you're not at your campsite, then they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. So that can be a big downfall. Also, in fact, mentioning when you're not at your campsite, they are a target for thieves because they're not bolted down to your roof. And if in extremely windy conditions, they can just blow over. So there you have it. Remember, it's all about capturing the sun. So no matter what style that you choose, remember, keep your panels clean. And in my experience, a combination of both. So having a rooftop solar panel as well as having a portable panel absolutely makes things so much better and more efficient. 
So is portable or fixed rooftop for you? Let us know. Put it in the comments. Thanks very much for watching the video. You ripper.